Hey guys, so for today's video, we're gonna do something pretty chill and relaxed today. I just gonna have a bunch of new products that I wanted to try out on camera for you guys. This video is kindly sponsored by e.l.f. So I have a bunch of e.l.f. products that I've used today. I love using e.l.f. products because they are such a good quality at such an inexpensive price. So if you wanna just kinda of chill, hang out, maybe do your makeup with me, let's get started. Like I said, we have a bunch of stuff from e.l.f. I got a package from Rare Beauty the other day, so I might use some Rare Beauty. Um, I just placed a Sephora order and I got that package the other day. So just kind of a mix of random things today, but I just wanna do a pretty face of makeup. But the focus of today is e.l.f.'s new mascara, which is the Big Mood Mega Volume and Lifting Mascara. So I'm probably gonna do like a flawless base and then just a ton of mascara. <laughs> so that's kind of my game plan for today. I definitely need a flawless base. I like just picked up my skin, which is perfect before filming a makeup video, right? But because I just picked up my face, my face is red now, it's a perfect time to try out the e.l.f. Acne Fighting Putty Primer. I haven't tried this before and I grabbed it because I know it has a green base to it. So I kind of want to see how that helps kind of counteract the redness that's now in my skin. But also just looking at the product online, this product has 1.8% salicylic acid in it, which is amazing because it helps fight acne. So I feel like using this over time could actually help your acne and it's gonna be a good primer. So you can see I got a fresh tub here. I'm gonna get it in between my fingers here. I guess we're gonna go where I'm red. Probably gonna need more product than that. I'm pretty red. <laughs> I can't really tell if that actually like evened out my skin tone at all because I'm still pretty red underneath, but I'm excited about the ingredients in that primer. Oh, I do have one more primer I kind of wanted to try. Where did I put it? So I've really been back into just using like hydrating primers and I saw that e.l.f. had this hydrating primer serum, which just sounded amazing. So I kind of want to try this on top of the acne primer. I just feel like I need so much hydration now and I like this little applicator. So I'm gonna do that. Let's do... Some of that there. Oh my gosh, this feels so good. Like obviously two primers isn't necessary, but I wanted to try this one out because it's acne fighting and that one out because it's hydrating. So for foundation, I don't really have a new foundation, so I'm gonna stick with an oldie but a goodie. This is the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. I'm gonna use the shade Fiji. And for my sponge, I picked up another one of the e.l.f. Total Face Sponges. Got a brand new one right here. This foundation might be a little deep on me, but we're gonna make it work. Also, this is one of my favorite face sponges out there and it's only $6. I'm really gonna bring some of this foundation down my neck. I mean, I'm not really going anywhere today, so I'm not like too concerned about my foundation matching. I'm just chilling at home. All right, now I'm gonna take the e.l.f. Hydrating Concealer in Light Ivory, and we're gonna keep concealing these spots. So e.l.f. does have this hydrating camo concealer, and then they have it in more of like a mattifying kind of satin finish. And I definitely prefer the hydrating one just because I prefer hydrating everything. I don't really like matte finishes overall. But the coverage is really good on this concealer and I like that you can pick which finish you want kind of based on your skin type and the kind of look that you're going for. Skin is looking pretty good. I feel like my lighting just got a little darker maybe, I don't know. I've kind of been playing around with switching up my face routine a little bit and kind of switching up the placement of my blush and bronzer. It's just kind of what I like best for my face shape. So typically I do concealer first and then I do blush and bronzer, but I've been doing concealer last because I use a lot of cream, blush, and bronzers now. And honestly, e.l.f. is killing the putty bronzer and blush game. Like I am obsessed with these. Like ever since the putty blushes came out, I've been obsessed. The colors are so beautiful. The putty bronzers are newer and I have two shades already, but I picked up two more shades for this video. I honestly can't get enough of these and they're only $6. Like these are so freaking good. Kind of random, but a couple months ago I bought the salt um, cream blushes and bronzers and like those were fine but those were expensive and I found that these perform much better. So I actually have two brushes that I like to use with these and they are both elf brushes. That wasn't planned but I've been liking these brushes a lot. One is the airbrush stipple. I love this for like honestly any kind of blush bronzer whether it's cream or powder and then I recently started using this is actually the putty primer applicator so it has like a little scoop on one end and the brush on the other but I love this brush for the cream bronzer but when I was on the elf website I found they had a putty blush brush for the bronzer I'm gonna stick with my putty primer applicator brush and I'm gonna use the bronzer in the shade tan lines and I just go in here like this is a perfect shape to just 
get into this product. Like for example, you guys know I love Sigma brushes, but like this brush is just too big to get into this product. So that's why I've been liking this brush a lot. Like I said, I've been kind of switching up my face routine. So I'm gonna conceal after I apply these putty bronzers and blushes. Is anyone else watching Glow Up on Netflix? My boyfriend and I are obsessed with the show and I love that he likes to watch it with me. It makes me so happy. We're just about to finish season three. I think we have one episode left, like the finale episode. But I love watching this show because it just like inspires me to do makeup and to play with makeup. It's just like a good competition show and there's not like drama with it. Like it's literally just about the competition and I feel like the judging is very fair. Like. I just like this show a lot. And then I think they made like a Dutch version of that show where like Nikki Tutorials is like one of the judges. Like how do I watch that? Because I wanna watch Nikki Tutorials, obviously. So this looks kind of weird without concealer on, but I'm just gonna keep going. Now for putty blushes, I have a couple colors that I like and that I keep like close to me. So first is Tahiti. This is just like a good everyday pink blush. If I want something more peachy, I'll use Bahamas. Like, oh, this one's so and then if I'm like pretty tan and I want that like burnt kind of sun-kissed look, I will use, what shade is this? Bali, like how, oh, they're all so pretty. I think I'm gonna go with Bahamas. I'm gonna try this new little putty blush brush. Swirl her in there. It's a pretty small brush, but I think that'll be good because then you can be like really precise on where you want to actually place your blush. So what I learned for me is that like, I like having a lot of blush on my face. Like I got a really long face. And so when I tried to do that whole, that like kind of new blush technique of having it like really, really high up, it makes my face shape look weird because then I have so much like blankness right down here. So it's like, just for me, I feel like I need to have blush like all over my cheeks, on the apples, my cheeks, and I bring it up to my temple. And then I'm gonna take my sponge and kind of go around these edges here. But like, that's the thing with makeup. Like you can do and try all the trends you want to, but not every trend is gonna look amazing on everyone. Cause clearly we all have different faces. <laughs> okay, I think I do like this brush a lot. I could go on for days about these putty products, but what I like about them too is that like they set nicely and they don't really stay too like dewy looking on the skin. Like it just looks super soft on the skin and I feel like I don't need to set them, which is really nice. All right, now let's do under eye concealer. Again, I'm gonna take the hydrating concealer, but I'm gonna use the shade Fair Rose. This might be too light, but oh, it's a little light. Just do a little bit there. I'm gonna go back to the same shade I used on my face. I'm just kind of mix these two together and using my sponge. I'm just gonna take a loose translucent powder. This is the RCMA No Color Powder. It's my all time favorite. And I'm just gonna press that right underneath my eyes. Just do a little bit of setting, mostly around my concealer. And this is the Sigma E50 brush, which I've really been liking. Like it's just a good shape for setting powder around the eyes and just like really pressing it in. Now I'm just gonna set my face just a tiny bit. I'm gonna take the Kosas Cloud Set Powder and just kind of like middle of my forehead right here. All right, I'm gonna do my brows really quick because I feel like I'm looking a little crazy with no brows. So I actually got this new-ish brow product from Sephora. I don't know if the brand is Refi, Refi, or how you pronounce this, but it's their brow sculpt. I actually saw it on TikTok and so I bought it. And it's a little like brow gel. It looks white, but it dries clear. At least on me it does. And then you take off the cap and it has this little brow brush on it. Like I said, I've just been like trying new makeup techniques. So I'm gonna do my brow gel first and then fill them in a little bit. This is only my second time using this particular product. I'm gonna brush it through my brows. And at first I didn't realize that like the tool was in the cap. So I thought it was like missing, but it was not. I'd like to take the brush side I just gotta brush these up and out of the way. I find that the comb side, this side doesn't work that well for me because it's curved. Like I can't get my brow inside the curved shape. Like it just doesn't grab my hairs at all. So that's a problem. And then I just like to take the flat side of this, like literally just the flat side and kind of press my brows down. I just realized this is kind of messing up my foundation around my brows. Should I have done this first? Probably. Oh well, can't go back now. 
Well, I think I might have messed up a little bit, so I'm gonna go fix my brows off camera and then I'll come back and probably tell you what I did. BRB. All right, my eyebrows are not looking too great. I don't really know if it was like the product or the way I use the brow gel, but I think because I used it after like powder and foundation is like I had some product in my brows and so like brushing through the brows with the product like pulled up some foundation. So I had like a bunch of like foundation crusties in my brow and it was like all sticky up here. So I did my best, they're not perfect. But I just added a little bit of a brow pencil and a little bit of a brow pen, and we're gonna stick with that. We're honestly almost done with the makeup look. I do wanna try this highlighter that I got by Rare Beauty. So this is the Liquid Luminizer in Enlighten, and I'm excited to try this. I popped on a little bit yesterday and I kinda liked it, but you only need like the tiniest bit. So I'm just gonna go like that. My sponge. Like this one actually kind of gives that like metallic finish. So I don't want to apply too much. Like you could apply so much more product, but just with a tiny bit, that's pretty. All right, so the last two products I have are lipstick and mascara. Let's do the new e.l.f. mascara. I always love trying a new mascara, so let's pop this sucker open. Okay, I just like tore apart this box. It says this mascara will volumize, lengthen, and lift. Clean and vegan, it has jojoba oil in it. Uh, hourglass shaped brush. Love the purple case, super cute. Let's see this wand. Ooh, it's a big hourglass shaped wand. I am gonna curl my lashes since I'm just wearing mascara today. Like I don't even have eyeshadow on. This is just the Makeup Geek eyelash curler. Nothing crazy. I actually really like this. I am kind of making a mess, but it's okay. It's gonna be easy to wipe off because again, I'm not wearing any eyeshadow. I feel like mascara is one of those products where like as soon as you try it, you're gonna know whether you like it or not. So far, I like it. Do a little on the bottom lashes. This mascara is only $7. Gosh, that's crazy. My lashes on this eye always look better than this one, so I have to like try harder for this eye. Now I need to clean up this mess that I made. That's the one nice thing about wearing no eyeshadow is that it's like easy to clean up any little mistakes. I just use a Q-tip. All right, I am definitely a fan of this mascara. I will continue to use it. All right, let's finish with a little bit of lips and then we're done. It's gonna do a little bit of lip lining. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude. Then I bought this new lipstick from Urban Decay. I think they kind of redid like their whole lipstick line. It's the High Impact Vegan Lipstick. I think it's hydrating as well. Oh, it's a cream formula. The shade is Oat Milk and it's a nude, obviously. It looks pretty light and pretty like peachy, but let's try it out. I think I like that. Yes. I love when I find like a good nude lipstick because it is so hard to find a good nude because there's like so many types of nudes, you know? And then I did pick up the e.l.f. lip lacquer. The shade is Bubbles. It's kind of just like a clear, early sparkly lip gloss. Mm, this smells so good. The last product I want to try is the e.l.f. Dewy Coconut Setting Mist. Oh my gosh, this smells amazing. <sighs> Personally, I'm not a big fan of coconut taste, but I love the smell of coconut. I kind of just like doused myself in that spray though. Whoops. All right, and this is the final look. I know it wasn't like a super fun, crazy video. Like obviously this is very, very basic makeup, but I just wanted to pop on here, film something easy, just try out some new makeup, just kind of chat and have fun. I honestly pretty much liked every single product I used today except the brow setter. I need to like play around with that just a little bit more. Used a bunch of things from e.l.f. today. If I were to tell you to try any product from e.l.f., like if you were new to the brand, try the e.l.f. Putty Blush and the Putty Bronzer. Like you will not be disappointed and they're so inexpensive. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.